I don't even know what to do with myself with all this highlight. This just, it speaks to me. On Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a full face of first impressions using all new makeup from Too Faced Peaches and Cream. The smells of the Too Faced collection. We're gonna talk about those in a little bit. From Fenty Beauty and from YSL and everybody else that came out with something new, it's gonna be on my face today. And I didn't realize, I didn't know that I was going in this direction, but everything on my face is geared towards somebody with really oily skin. This is a super matte look. I really like how it looks on my face, but I do have dry skin, so it's a little like I have Botox. It's just like my whole face is really, really tight. But it looks really good and it's gonna look great in pictures. And I have lipstick on my teeth. If you guys have oily skin, this is gonna be the perfect makeup tutorial. This makeup tutorial is just for you if you have dry skin well you're just gonna look you're gonna look really good but you're gonna feel like a dried up raisin this is like an everyday glam look for me I could definitely wear this every day I hope you guys enjoy it before we get into this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family and let's get on with the I'm tutorial. actually filming in the morning for the first time in a long time and it makes me super happy because when I film in the mornings I feel like I have the most energy and lately I've been filming at night when I'm just kind of like ready to go to bed. I have a huge thing of coffee and I am ready to show you guys some new makeup and give you my honest opinion on them as I put them on. I already did my brows. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. So I'm gonna use this Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. This is from the Peaches and Cream collection. I have the whole collection but I'm using and reviewing some products, not all of them. Oof. That is very, that's a very strong peach smell. I just like whoosh, peach in my face. Just chose different little things that I would actually use. So I have the palette here and it looks like this. There's a lot of warm tone shades. Um, I like the orangey uh, peach right here and there are some browns. You can take this from day to not a glam night, but definitely a little bit more dramatic look. Before I put any color on my eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes first and set them with concealer. So I'm gonna do that really quick. It's so important to me to have a setting color in the palette, and they have a perfect one right here. So I'm gonna take Peach Butter, and I'm setting my concealer with it just so that everything is nice and smooth, applies evenly, and it's set in place. The color I'm picking up is Peach Tea, and I'm gonna work that into the crease. This is a warm, pre-shade and using very light pressure I'm going to use circular motions to work it into the crease and kind of extending it out to the end of the tail end of the brow and if you get a little bit on the lid it's fine because we're going to cover the entire lid anyways if anything it'll help with the gradient effect so the eyeshadow blends very easy and it's not patchy at all good color payoff the next color I'm picking up is peach cobbler and I'm going to work that all over the lid up into the crease with this one we're going to be layering a lot of these colors on top of one another just so that we can create that seamless gradient on our eye. Easily lays color down on the eye and then once you're ready to blend it out you can take it with soft pressure and just move your brush back and forth and it blends it out so nice. Because it's not a round brush you have a little bit more precision so I'm gonna go at an angle right here. This is gonna make any color on top just look like a warm, buttery pie. So I'm gonna take Peachy Punch next. This is a super vibrant pink coral color. Work that into the crease, liven this look up a lot. And I'm not gonna put that on the lid. I'm just going to have this kind of be the halo of the eyeshadow. I definitely grab this palette as one of my everyday kind of palettes. For the rest of the lid color, I'm gonna take Just Right, which is this reddish plum color right here and I'm gonna work that on the lid. For the brow bone, I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the palette, which is Peach Meringue. It's like a yellow tone shade. I always like to have most of the highlight right on the arch, and then I blend the shadow out into the other areas, and then I'll blend it down as far as I need to if I like went a little too high with the crease shadow. So I'm gonna do a wing on my eye. I'm gonna use this new Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham. It's the Eye Ink Matte Eyeliner. I actually really like the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder line because I have the bronzer and I have the eyeshadows from her and they are so beautiful, pigmented, and just sit flawless on the skin. So I'm excited to try this liner. The liner is very pointy, 
so I also like that you can make a really crisp clean line this is an intense black eyeliner and I like when eyeliners dry matte it dries super matte so much that it dries out super fast so you have to keep putting it in the little tube but I really like it they also came out with a mascara with Victoria Beckham's line so it looks like this it's just like a skinny little tube I mean it's a skinny little tube and it's a skinny little wand as well and these kind of mascaras work really well for the lower lash line let's see See what it does for our upper lashes it is a very wet mascara meaning it will weigh your lashes down a little bit but it, it definitely grabs every lash but it is a little wet so I think this will work really well for the lower lashes okay just just as I thought this works beautifully for the lower lashes because the lower lashes are so thin and fine it grabs every single lash and brings it out. It's, it's, look at my lashes. You can see almost every single individual lash. That is amazing for the lower lashes. I'm gonna take these lashes right here in the pink box. The pink boxes are usually more natural looking. I'm gonna take Opulence, they're so pretty. The next new thing that I'm gonna try out is the YSL All Hours Primer. Oh. My bad, you're supposed to twist it. So it looks like this. Oh, very thin, very, very thin formula. I feel like it's brightening my face. Like my skin just got brighter with this. And I'm gonna use the concealer and the foundation. So this dries instantly on your skin and I almost feel like it's going to be one of those mattifying primers. So if you have oily skin, this would work well for you. I have dry skin, so it doesn't have the best feeling on my skin because it feels a little tight. And then for the foundation, I'm gonna use all hours foundation and I've already tried this guy out I already know he's good he's really good and it's very full coverage they sent in one of those foundation brushes but I didn't like the way it applied to my face with a face brush so I'm gonna use the beauty blender which they also sent in and start to work this on my face if you are looking for a full coverage foundation that is going to cover up acne redness hyperpigmentation or scars this would be really great for you and if you have oily skin it's gonna work like a dream at first it kind of looks like it's going to be a little dewy but it definitely dries matte trust me very matte to the point where I actually needed to spritz on some kind of hyd hydrating mist then again I do have a dry skin type I'm gonna let this dry on my face it does take a minute to set it is a matte foundation but it looks very dewy right now so I'm gonna go ahead and do my under my lower lash line actually before I finished doing this part, I want to try the YSL concealer that they sent as well. This is the shade 40PA4, I think. I'm going to try this on my under eye. I see the good thing about this is that it is buildable. Same thing with the foundation, everything is really buildable. It also doesn't feel heavy on the face, so that is a definite plus. Okay, so now that we have our under eyes concealed, I can move on to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take Just Peachy and work that underneath the lower lash line. On the outer part of the lower lash line, I'm gonna take Peach Tart and just work that really close to the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring it in at all. I just wanna add to that cat, cat eye look. And then with that Just Peachy shade, I'm gonna blend out the edge of this brown so it's not harsh. So now I'm going to contour my face. I just bought the Fenty Beauty contour sticks. They are magnetic, which is super cool and it has a really cool shape to it. I've never seen anything like this. I think it's really unique and cool and I like the packaging. It's nude. I like my nudes. So I have mocha for my contour and it looks like so. Push it up. Let me see how much product this has. Work that back down. I like the shade of it. It's an ashy tone shade, so it's going to look really natural. I'm going to go ahead and work that on my cheekbone. I want a higher cheekbone, so I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher until it's going to blend into a really nice, natural looking shadow. I just like blending with these little tiny ones because I feel like they're so much more precise. I don't want to get this color in the wrong places, so that's why I'm using a smaller beauty blender for this. It looks like a natural, nice shadow. It works really well for my skin tone so far. She also has this shade called Bamboo. This is the matte skin stick. And then I'll just blend that out with the same little beauty blender. And then they have a shimmer stick that looks like this. This is the shade Trippin'. 
so I'll put it in the same spots like as we highlighted earlier. I'm gonna work it in with, with my ratchet Rachel finger. I'm gonna do the other side. Love how it does that. Like I'm in mid-air and then I'm about to <laughs> okay, never mind. To set my face, I'm actually gonna set my entire face with the uh, Peach Blur from Too Faced. I tried this before it came out, and when I first tried it, I was like, why is this all shimmery? How is this gonna blur my face? This is gonna make my face look crazy. I was very skeptical about this, but I actually tried it, and I absolutely loved the way it made my skin look. It makes your skin literally look like you have a filter on your skin. Set my entire face with this, and it does have a very strong sweet peach scent to it. I feel like this, the scents in, in this peach collection are way stronger than the first one for sure. Literally makes your skin like you have a filter on it. I love this peach blur so much. Okay, I went and brightened my under eyes a little bit with some powder, but it's stuff that I've already used. It's not new, so I didn't want to use it on this first impressions of new makeup kind of video. So I did that off camera. If you want to know what I used, I'll always put it in the description. To add some color to the cheeks and to bring some life back into my face, I'm going to take the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Compact and it looks like so. It's a. It's supposed to be a matte bronzer, but it's called a radiant matte bronzer. So it sits on your face matte, but it also has these illuminating particles to it, but it doesn't make it look like shimmer. It's not shimmer on your face. Honestly, I could see somebody being a little put off by all of the peach scent all at one time, but I'm the type of person that loves sweet smelling things that I'm okay with it. But I can definitely see how it would be a little too much for some people. This just, it speaks to me on so many levels. So now for the highlight. I have two highlights from Fenty Beauty. One of them is called Trophy Wife, and the other one is is like a duo highlight. And her line is called Kilowatt, the, the highlighting, I guess, category of her line. So there's this really bright gold color right here. Let me just swatch it on my arm. It's very sheer. It's more of like a glittery, type of highlight and then there's this one right here this is hustle a baby it has like a peach undertone this is the one that i think i'm gonna use today and then there's like a softer shade which is called mean money and i think what i'm gonna do is use a mixture of both because they're both really really pretty i'm actually gonna try to incorporate all of them on my face today so let's just see what we come up with here first i'm gonna take this one right here her highlights are no joke this highlight is definitely popping i'm also gonna try the trophy wife because it's just how how can you not try this? Whoa, that is intense. This is the most intense highlight I have ever used in my life, I think. Honestly, no joke, I'm not even trying to overhype this thing. I don't even know what to do with myself with all this highlight. For the lip, I'm gonna use something that's not new. Um, it's the Strip Down MAC Lip Liner, so I'm just gonna pop that on really quick. For the lipstick, I'm gonna use the Too Faced lipstick in the shade Sunday Fun Day and the tube looks like this. This is such a pretty nude. It has little peaches all around it. I'm gonna put that on my lips right on top of the lip liner. This is the lighter shade. It's called Doll Face. I'm gonna take that and pop it onto the center of the lips. And this lipstick is nice and creamy and hydrating. There is a peach mist that I wanna try out. This is also mattifying. If you don't shake this up, you will have white splotches on your face. So you make sure to shake it up. Test it on your arm before you spritz it on your face. I'm gonna spritz it on just to say that I did it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you know what you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, and I have some other videos over to the side if you want to check them out. And before I let you go, I want to let you know that you are strong, stronger than you think. Don't take ish from anyone. Don't take any mess. Stand up for yourself because nobody will do it unless you do it for yourself. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and until the next video, bye dollies.